are you artistically handicapped, but now you need to come up with the promotional pictures so you can get your game on Steam. No worries, in this video I will show how you can relatively easily come up with these art assets even if you have zero experience as an artist. Hi, my name is Auro, I'm a full-time India game developer, creator of Mortal Glory and currently working on a game called Chambers of Devious Design. On top of that, I also make these weekly YouTube videos sharing my experiences to help you on your own game dev journey. In a recent video, I talked about how to get a game on Steam and I went through all the steps needed for creating a Steam page. A big part of that process is creating the many different art assets that Steam needs to promote your game across their site. There are so many images you need to prepare that it can get tiring really fast. But marketing materials like these are a major defining factor in how a potential customer perceives your game, so it's worth putting the time and effort into them. Before we start, I just want to say a quick disclaimer that I am not an artist, so there probably are better ways to do what I am about to show you. I just want to show you one way how I have been able to handle these types of art assets. Also, I do recommend getting an actual artist to help you out if your budget allows it. But I know most indies are running with a whopping zero dollar budget, which usually isn't enough to get outside help. Luckily, with just a little bit of effort, you can quite easily create decent art assets for free without any real artistic talent or experience. Let's start with the logo. If you take a look at other logos of popular games on Steam, you can notice that most of the logos are actually quite simple. Many times just white text with a few twists. Creating something like this is well within your means. I recommend using vector art for the logo, as that will allow you to make it as big as you want when needed. If you haven't tried it yet, Inkscape is a great vector art tool that is free to use. Vector art is also very beginner friendly, I think. Even with zero skill, you can create something nice by just playing around with the features and putting in some time. Once you have created something with vector art, you can then also very easily enhance it with some ready-made effects in other programs, like this glow effect in paint.net for example. Okay, that's one part down. Then you will also need a background for your logo. If we again look at the other games on Steam, we can notice that there are quite many different types of backgrounds used, and some popular games even use just a simple color gradient as the background. My opinion is that the background image doesn't really even matter that much. What does matter is the color of the background image. You want your game to pop up from the list of games so that the potential customer is more likely to notice it and then visit your Steam page. This is something I recommend you start doing by the way. When you have something ready, try to place it among the other games and see if it pops up or otherwise compares favorably to the other games. When I was recently creating the background for my game's logo, I was first going to go with just a color gradient background, but I thought it looked quite boring. Luckily, there were still other options I could try, even with minimal artistic talent. What you can do is find some free images from the internet that you can use to easily add some texture to your background. Then you can just play around with the colors and different filters to see if you can come up with something that looks nice. Having artistic talent and a clear vision in mind will help a lot, but you can still come up with something decent even if you have neither of those and just keep trying different things. Keep trying them against Steam's background and you will quickly notice which colors pop up and which don't. Thinking about the complementary colors might also be helpful. Steam's background is blue and blue's complementary color is yellow or orange depending on which color model you go by. So using those colors should, at least in theory, make it pop up the most. One trick you can also try out is adding borders to your capsule image and see if that helps it pop up even more. You can see some games employing this tactic, but many don't, so it might help direct wandering eyes to your capsule image. Many capsule images on Steam might also feature character illustrations or some special objects. Those will be hard to make yourself without artistic talent, but if you have some cool existing illustrations in your game, it's a good idea to use those. 
You can also try searching the internet if you can find some free assets that could be relevant to your game and look nice next to your logo. Once you have these different parts ready, then creating all the needed Steam assets is basically just a matter of moving the different pieces to fit all the needed dimensions. Feel free to also customize some of the capsules if you feel like it. Especially with the bigger images, there's more room to add some extra illustrations on them. By the way, when you are working on the graphics, it's a good idea to keep them in very high resolution and then just make them smaller in the final step when you are creating the different capsule images. If you don't do this, it can be quite frustrating to create most of the assets and when you are almost done, you notice that you are still missing one image that is larger than your current project file. I am speaking from experience, unfortunately. You can also localize each of these images on Steam. It can potentially be a lot of work though, so you should first think if it's worth it in your case. I think usually just the English versions should be enough. In my case though, when I localized Mortal Glory, I noticed a lot of new sales were coming from China, so I decided to also localize the game's name and Steam graphics to Chinese. I don't really have any data to say if it was worth it or not, but I would like to think that it makes the game seem more attractive to potential Chinese customers, which is why I also did the same now with my new game. I spoke with a Chinese friend recently about localizing game logos and his opinion was that it's not really necessary and that having the game's name in Chinese would be enough to attract Chinese customers. So you probably shouldn't at least put an unreasonable amount of effort into localizing the Steam images. As with most things, it's good to look at what others are doing. By looking at the capsule images of other popular games, you can get new ideas and find inspiration for your own images. If you really like the style of some games' capsule images, you could even try to reach out to them and see if they are willing to share who the artist was who made them. Once you have made some images, maybe even a few different versions, it's a very good idea to get other people to take a quick look also and give their opinion. If you are the only one looking at the images, it's easy to get attached to some ideas even if they aren't that good just because you have looked at them yourself for so long. The best way to get useful feedback would be to give a few of your unknowing friends a blind pick test. Take a screenshot of a Steam game listing with multiple games, hide your own logo among the other games and then ask your friends who don't know much about your game to pick a few games from that list that they think pop up the most and which ones they are drawn to the most. If your game is among those, awesome. That's a clear sign that your capsule image is one of the better ones. But hey, that's all I have for this video. Hopefully you got something useful out of this. Let me know if there was something you would have liked to hear more about. Alright, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.